Hey guys, it's Vic. I'm back with another review on High Desert Man Hog Fat products. Today we're going to talk about the Homestead blend. Stick around. Woo! It is a brisk in chilly morn. It's about 36 degrees in my lab right now, so it's really cold. But I've had my hog fat in my pocket. Um, as I get prepared for this. So hog fat, or I'm sorry, Homestead blend was one of the original blends. So the first two, yeah, actually we first came out with three scents, the High Desert, the Homestead, and Natural. Uh, Homestead was a scent that my wife came up with after gardening one day. She came into the house and said, hey, I have an idea for a scent. And we played around with the ingredients and came up with something that was really unique and she really loved it and I always vet things through her. So anyways, uh, the scent is called Homestead and it's based on peppermint, vanilla, and rosemary. Okay, everyone has a peppermint scent out there or something dealing with mint or peppermint. We wanted to do something different. Uh, typically, when you smell a peppermint scented uh, product, the peppermint is pretty strong. It, it kind of hits you and it gives you that sort of brisk um, nasal clearing kind of um, sensation. Nothing wrong with that, but I wanted to just kind of tone that down a little bit and make it a little bit more earthy for lack of a better term and so that's where the rosemary came in and what you have is a product that is sweet it's also got an earthy component you can smell the peppermint you, you smell the peppermint first the rosemary kind of tames down the peppermint and that's that's one of the things i love about this scent is that it's not that signature peppermint it's it's kind of a warmed and, and mellowed peppermint. And this time of year, holiday season, this is a great scent to wear. I, I wear this, as we get closer to Christmas, we're a couple weeks out still, I will be wearing this almost exclusively. So I've already gone through the routine, wetted the beard and blotted it dry. Oh, <laughs> right off the bat. It's just that sweet. And, you know, the rosemary, when you smell rosemary by itself, rosemary has a very distinct uh, scent, almost like sage or something. It's just, it's its own scent. When you add it in the way that we have in our hog fat, you lose that, that signature rosemary and it's still there, but somehow it, it just really blends well with the vanilla and the peppermint. And you get, you what you end up with is a very, very balanced scent that is, it's just amazing. You know the routine. Might should have put just a little bit more in my mustache, but oh, there's nothing like a nice, clean, fresh beard with a product in it, nice and soft. All right. All right, it's toned down. It is it is a pretty mild scent uh, to begin with, but there's definitely a, a wafting of of sweet and it's it's the same scent that you're getting directly out of the tin it's just toned down quite a bit it smells good it smells really good okay guys we're gonna be back in about five hours I like my beard like this it's a, I, I can just sit here and play with it all day run my fingers through it it just feels so soft and nice at any rate We'll be back in about five hours and we will find out how this wore through the day. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back and it's been four and a half hours wearing Homestead and 
in all honesty, I will say that it's probably, it, it may be a little bit too light. Uh, and you guys let me know in the comments if you like a lighter scent um, or if you like a, a stronger scent. So, you know my philosophy, I try to find a balance between having a good, not overwhelming scent that you can smell for a while uh, on your beard, but at the same time that won't be offensive or sort of overbearing to people around you. Um, all of my scents will last uh, half the day, no problem. Um, some of the reviewers that have done reviews on High Desert Man products have said that the scents have lasted all day. I'm thinking they're, that they're more in the range of six to eight hours. Totally satisfactory to me. Um, High Desert Man only uses pure essential oils and I use very high quality essential oils. A lot of companies use fragrance oils. Now, let me tell you the difference uh, for the most part. Most fragrance oils are synthetic. They're, they're man-made products. Uh, whereas essential oils are the distillate or the pure essence of, of whatever um, plant or, or ingredient that they're, they're pulling that from. And it's those oils and stuff. Essential oils will last longer. They will give you a more true scent. Fragrance oils, when you first smell them, typically, like, an, your immediate reaction is, oh, that smells real good. But after a little bit, it's like, you know, it's, it smells a little fake. I still smell it on my beard. Uh, it's, it's not wafting up anymore. I don't smell it in that way. And if my wife was to smell it right now, she pick it up. It's it's got a it, it's still there for sure. Um, it's just it's not as evident as some of the other scents. Now, uh, yesterday I did uh, Madanuska. Madanuska in reality is probably going to last the longest because it starts off the strongest scent uh, that High Desert Man has ever done. But if you like a lighter scent, Homestead might be your thing. I might think about revamping Homestead. If you have used uh, Homestead Blend, please hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you've used any of our products, what you think of the overall scent and stuff. Um, what else? That's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tomorrow will be the last scent. We'll be going over High Desert. That is the OG, the first first uh, official scent the high desert man did and the one closest to home because uh because it comes from my home <laughs> um at any rate we will catch you on the next video until then stay rugged later